Okay, so here is another tutorial. I've had a question about Giants Editor not opening a map or when it goes to open it, it crashes. Okay, so there are a few ways to do it, but I'm going to show you the way that is 99.9% .9 of what it what it normally is. So right now, as you can see, I've got Giants Editor open. Literally on your main screen or wherever you've got the run icon for your Giants Editor, double click on that. Don't try and open a map that way, just double click on your Giants Editor to open it up like this. Then what you want to do in the top left corner, you will see one that says File. If you click on File, here we go in the top left. If you search down this bar, what you'll see is you'll see one called Preferences. What you want to do is double click on preferences or single click, however you've got it set up. And in here, can I make you bigger? Will you, will you let me make it bigger? You really aren't. You suck. Alright, well, the problem is 99.9% .9 of the time is sometimes if you've got the game on Steam, what it will do, Giant's Editor will be real funky. What it will try and do is it will try and pull the files for Giants Editor from a separate drive. So, so for me, for instance, I've got Farming Simulator on Steam installed on my D drive, not my C drive. But what it will tend to do sometimes is it will try and pull the game data from your C drive. But that's not where my Farming Simulator is on Steam, which is really really annoying so what you want to do is in preferences right now I've got a piece of paper in front of me because I wrote all this down it's a fair bit to go through so where it says game installation here here we are I'll just pull it here because my head's probably in the way but right now you see game installation and just underneath it is installation path all right so let's have a look at where it's trying to find mine. Mine is in my D drive, so there we go, we've got D drive, Steam library, then Steam apps, then it should say common, yeah, common, and then farming simulator 22. So, fly, get out my way. So let's have a look at where this is trying to do it. If yours isn't where the you installed the game if you've got it on steam the best way to check where you've got farming simulator 22 installed is go to your steam so what we're going to do is right now you can see i'm in my steam mr p gaming here we go here it is we're in the library make sure you go top left where it says library click on that and it will bring the games that you own on the left hand side so there we go, we've selected Farming Simulator 22. What I want you to do is I want you to right click on Farming Simulator 22. It'll bring up a little bar that says Play, Add to Favorites. My head is probably in the way. Uh, but what it'll say is Play, Add to Favorites, Add to, Manage or Properties. What I want you to do is I want you to go down to the one that says Properties and I want you to click on that. Then what that will do is that will bring up a general box here for Farming Simulator 22. Here we go, here it is. And the best way to find out where your game is stored is if you go into here where it says General, Updates, Local File, Language, Betas, Controller and DLC. I would like you to go on to the one that says Local Files. Go onto that one and select it. And as you'll see, right here it says local files, size of file, it's giving you the size of the file that it is on, and files D. That is telling me that that is installed on my D drive, not my C drive. So D drive is where my game is installed, okay? So what you want to do is, the best way to do it is to follow the path. To have a true sense of where it is. I mean, my, my Steam is telling me it is on my D drive. Okay, that's fine. It's telling me it's on my D drive. So what I want you to do is I want you to go into File Manager or File Explorer or in the bottom left 
you can go into the start button and do it that way but you'll see this box here let's just make it a little bit bigger but what I want you to do is mine is telling me it is on my D drive so actually I make this a little bit this way because my head is going to be in the way so right now let's make these icons uh, a little bit larger for you if you are looking on a mobile device my D drive so I want to double I want to click on that and here we go here's my D drive what I have on it currently what I want you to do is I want you to trace where it's telling you it is sending it so according to preferences on Giants Editor it's telling me it's going from my D drive to Steam Library and then Steam Apps alright so here we go back to the folder so Stream Steam Library let's double click on that and then it said it's going to Steam Apps so here we go Steam Apps and then at the top you'll see a file that says common I want you to double click on that and in here will be all the games that you have in your Steam library I want you to look for one that says Farming Simulator 22 double click that <coughs> right so now we can see this box and the file path we don't need to worry about the one on the start this PC or whatever that is it's the one that comes from the drive yeah that's 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 the one we need so it's coming from my D drive steam library steam apps common and then farming simulator 22 okay so the path is my D drive steam library steam apps common and farming simulator 22 all right so where is this preference telling me that it's going my D drive steam library steam apps common and then farming simulator 22 in the game installation path make sure that the installation path is going directly to where you have your giants uh, your farming simulator 22 installed it doesn't run off giants editor installation path it runs off your farming simulator 22 installation path if you've got it on your d drive you run from your d drive so you'll go c drive uh, you'll go c drive steam apps and you get it you rather than being your d drive you'll go steam from your c drive or your E drive, whichever drive you've got it on, it'll be A, C, D, whatever number you've got it or letter. Steam Library, the path will still be the same. Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then Farming Simulator 22. The path needs to be where you have the game installed. For me, as we saw with Farming Simulator 22, if we open this up again in Steam, it's telling me it's on my D drive there it is Giants editor is telling me it's picking it up from my D drive so make sure the game installation path is picking up the game from where you installed it in Steam okay this is if you're running it from Steam so if you've got the game on Steam wherever you installed the game on Steam that is the file path that you will need it to find you run it off the installation path of Farming Simulator 22. So like I said, that is one way to do it. I'll show you again real quick. What we'll do is we'll go back to here. As you can see, we need to double click on my D drive or one click. We'll go down to where it says Steam Library. We'll double click on that. Again, double click on the top one that says Steam Apps. And right at the top will be a file that says common double click on that then in this file you will see your game that you are looking for farming simulator 22 it works the same with 19 so whether you're running 19 or 22 it doesn't matter the path needs to be leading to that file so double click on 22 there we go 
And this is all you need. Don't go into any of these files. You do not need to go into any of those. What you need is just this path that is at the top. D drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and Farming Simulator 22. Just make sure that that path there is the same path that Giants Editor is trying to pick up. It's trying to pick up the data from your game. It's not picking up the data from Giants Editor. It's actually picking up the files from where you have the game installed on Steam. If you have it installed in your D drive, your C drive, your E drive, that is where you need to get that game. So again, to get up preferences, let's just lock that down. Uh, in Giants Editor, double click on the icon to open up Giants Editor on its own. Uh, go top left into File. Then go down to where it says Preferences. Click on that. And in here you will have this box that says Preferences. It will say General, Viewport, Scripting and Shortcuts. What you want to do is where it down here. Just under external tools, look for one that says game installation and it says installation path. Make sure that this here is telling it exactly what file to go to. I mean there is an easy way you can click on the three little dots here and it's telling you right now. So I can tell it to go D drive and then what we'll need is Steam library Then we select Steam apps. Then we select common, then we look for Farming Simulator 22, double click that, and then all you do is click select folder, and that will give it the exact path that it needs to go to. Remember, send this directory to where you have the game installed on Steam. My Steam shows that it is installed on my D drive. So I hope that helped. And, uh, yeah, if that didn't help, let me know, and I will try to come up with some more solutions. There are other ways, but if that doesn't help, let me know down in the comments. Till then, have a great day, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you then.